All right, Susan, here we are at address, and this is our original setup. And notice how you're kind of a little bit more up and down with your spine this way. That's a little bit too squatted. And what we like to do is get your spine out just a bit more so that you're getting the ball less from squatting down to it and bending your knees. And let's get your, your spine out just a bit more. It doesn't have to be a lot. And that'll let your arms have a little more freedom of movement. And then on the way back, you're doing a good job of keeping the club on the plane line instead of getting up. So I so see how now your shoulder line and your arm line are matching and the club is here. And remember how it used to be way up there. That puts you in a very good position to be able to hit the ball. And here's an example of you doing a good job with that. Didn't get too high. And hit a good shot. Very nice. And then we did our pitching and our chipping. We did our little nun nun, and we set up just a little bit left uh, without using our wrists, and that gave us our little shorter shots. And then we used our thumb thumb where we used our wrists and just timed it at the bottom, and you did that beautifully as well. And remember, when you set up in those pitches or those chips, set up a little bit an inch or so with your head, your sternum, and your hips towards the target side. And then as we take it back, we're taking it back more like a Ferris wheel and then forward like a Ferris wheel and turning in that way instead of like the merry-go-round turning behind us.